We now request the BIA President, Sri Anand Singh, and the Secretary Come Manager, Mr. Mayank Kaishwar Saran Singh, to present the memento to His Excellency. Dr. Rakeshwar Singh Sahab, Principal of this most distinguished college, Mayor of this proud city, Dr. Dinesh Sharma, Justice Anil Kumar, Honorable Justice Vithuraj Avasthi, our Chief Secretary of the State, Sri Atul Kumar Gupta, Sri Anup Mishra, Sri SVM Tripathi, Raja Anand Singh Ji, Sri Sudeep Lakshakya, Prof. Churamani Gopal, Prof. Manoj Mishra, two Vice Chancellors of a very proud university, Sri Mankneshwar Saran Singh Amelie, other distinguished old boys of this very proud college, ladies, gentlemen, and last but not the least, a very, very proud students of this school and college. It is a great pleasure for me to be here and see the performance of this college with which I am directly associated, not just as the governor of this state, but as the patron of this very proud institution. This college stands as a wonderful example of the spirit of continuity and change, transforming itself from its foundation based on aristocratic ethos to that based on truly egalitarian and democratic principles, thus reflecting the journey made by our nation from pre-independence to the present times. The college has contributed meaningfully in giving to the nation in particular and to the world in general a highly accomplished, talented and beautiful workforce of high achievers who have excelled in different fields. And I wish that the present students keeping that spirit will also be high achievers in their future lives. I am happy to note that the college affiliated to the Council for Indian School Certificate Examination has produced 100% results in ISC and ICSE in the last academic session and efforts are being made to improve and improvise and these are yielding commendable results. It is heartening to note that some of the students of recent past have figured in the merit list of IAS and other services. I am told that the foundation of the college building at its present site was laid on 11th March 1889 and the school became functional after the opening ceremony in March 1892. That is almost 118 years of a very proud record. The first academic session started on 12th May 1892 with just 16 students, out of which 13 were resident scholars. The junior and senior Cambridge classes began here on 24th March 1933. The primary concern of education as I keep saying often, is the development of human intellect and resourcefulness. The development of these faculties is necessary for the overall economic well-being and also important in the, in the inculcation of a value system and strengthening the moral fiber. The current spate of scams and spread of corruption should be a cause of great worry to all of us much more for the future citizens of the country, some of whom very proudly are sitting here. Integrity and morality has to be an individual trait and has to come from within. It can never be imposed effectively from outside. Our educational institutions, therefore, have to create that belief and commitment in the minds of the students, as the students of today depend the future of our nation. Since independence, we have made very significant progress in several fields, such as industry, science, technology, and other fields. These developments have contributed substantially to our social development. 
as a result the need of our society the needs of our society are rapidly changing advancement of education has to be geared to meet these new challenges the country's greatest need today is self discipline it is discipline that we have to inculcate in all of the spheres of life it has to be remembered that all times that self discipline is imperative for the country's progress and prosperous outlook education should be such as to infuse in us a strong feeling that we all belong to one nation and that the country comes first i hope that this institution will continue on its part of development and continue to grow as a proud center of learning thank you very much and i again congratulate the the proud award winners of today and the students of this very proud institution